make sure I was recording. So anyway, I'm here to give you guys key points on how to get over a breakup. I'm not saying these are something that you have to do, but I'm saying it's something that could work. Um, let's start off by saying cry. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, we're done. Let's take a moment and have a few seconds to cry. No, seriously, if you have to ball out, write down some things that you want to say and just read them out loud and cry. Play some Tony Braxton. Break my heart. Say you love me again. Undo the hurt you got me All right. I know you heard me. But anyways, that's my jam. But anyway, let's just say, have a playlist pop in. It's good to cry. We all think we all tough. Girl, who you fooling? <laughs> I know you sad. I was sad too. We was all here. So get it out. Cry because you're not about to take your anger out on me. And you're not about to get drunk and then I'm going to have to pick you up off the floor. That's what we're not going to do. Okay, we're going to pull ourselves together after we're done crying. Get all our emotions out. Talk to a girlfriend. Tell her how you're feeling. And have her, you know, listen and just tell her to shut up sometimes. Because you just want to get it all out. Sometimes we need that one friend that will just listen and give some good advice. Because we all been through a breakup. So... You know, the first step is to just, you know, reevaluate your feelings because you want to look at yourself and say, hey, I'm really sad right now. I'm not even going front. Like, I ain't even going front. So stop fronting and look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, self, you sad. It's cool. You know, you thought it was going to work. So now let's figure out what do I want. That's the next step. The next step is to focus on you. Because why? When you was in a relationship, who was you worrying about? I ain't hear you. Who was you worrying about? Oh, okay. I thought so. Because now we done gained a little weight. You know, it might be nice weight, you know. It might be nice weight. But you know, we don't, we don't feel like all that. Because some of the weight is in areas that we ain't even asked for. Because we was in the gym before we even got in a relationship, okay? So, let's start by working on your body. Even if you is the type of person that can eat McDonald's every day and you still be skinny. But, that's still not good. You think, oh, I look good, I'm skinny, I'm fit. Start working out. Start, you know, moving around. Even if you walk down the street for a few seconds. If you're a girl that don't like going to the gym, I ain't telling you to go to the gym. But, I'm going, Okay. But what I would say is, you know, start eating better. Start making your body feel better, you know. Have some vegetables, you know. Uh, some of you ladies don't know how to cook, you know. That's probably why he broke up with you because you don't know how to cook. Take the time out. Go get a cooking book. I'm not saying, oh, now that you've broken up, you 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 broken up. Now that you're single, go figure out how to be better at what you didn't do in a relationship i mean yeah you can do that but you know maybe it wasn't meant for him maybe your cooking wasn't meant for him because you probably would have killed him okay but what i'm gonna tell you is go get a cookbook or watch my youtube channels because i will be having some cooking videos on here okay but you know shoot see i'm single and i know how to cook okay so but let's start off by saying um do something uh, get a hobby now now it's time to get a hobby we ain't got time to just be going to the club every weekend let's say that i ain't going to the club every weekend when i got when i was single okay i did but what i will say is you know you know go to that friend's birthday parties because that's what i was doing going to friends birthday parties going to baby showers you know don't just always seclude yourself from festivities you know just because it was a bad breakup because things happen for a reason. You understand what I'm saying? This is a learning experience. Because there's things in a relationship that you may not have liked. And then now you realize like, oh, I don't like that. So then the next person you deal with, you know what you want. So then that's how you find yourself. Not all breakups 
is a mistake okay not all breakups is a mistake but i must say good things come out with it because you learn from experience so did you hear me what i said a learning experience okay girl you're right it's a learning experience because while whatever the person let that you didn't like in that relationship you make a fight in the next person but don't go looking for nobody all fast okay they say get over one to get under another not not a good idea okay no um don't just be going hopping into another relationship that's what we not gonna do because you won't end up sleeping with joe jack and jimmy and didn't even mean to like damn i didn't mean to have sex with all these people exactly sit your ass down okay let's just sit down and we're not gonna have sex with our boyfriend ex boyfriend excuse me we're not gonna have sex with him we're, we're done being friends on social media is not the best way to get over a breakup because you're gonna be looking at his social media every day all day long especially if he was the one who broke up with you why are you guys cyber stalking each other that's not a good way of getting over a breakup um yeah the only reason i'm gonna give you this advice is because these are the things that i've been through i'm just gonna keep it real with you guys never settle never settle for less if you're busy on social media trying to wonder what they're doing and they're not even thinking about you why do you care so much it's because you're not over it so that's not a way of getting over a breakup one thing I must say, the key to break up, block him from social media. Do not, you know, call him and say, hey, I miss you. Because it just won't work. Let's stop fighting and trying to figure out how to make it work. Because you miss him. Tell that to your friend that, that that's not going to be like, bitch, why you miss him? Why you miss him? You shouldn't be next to him. Like, girl, we don't need you right now. Where is Rebecca? Because I know Rebecca understand where I'm coming from when I say I miss him. <laughs> okay. But we're not about to miss him to the point where as though we call him. This is a way to get over it. Talk about it. Yes, you're going to miss him. Yes, you're going to feel some type of way. Yes, when you see him, you're like, damn. You know, but because you broke up for a reason. And sex is in it. It's a time and a place for everything. Because this is not the time. Because y'all tried it. How many times did y'all try to get back together? Tell me when to stop. Well, I can't nobody. Tell me. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't hear. So I kept going. So the point is, did it work out? Did it work out the second time? Uh, did it work out the third time? <laughs> okay. You know, they say three times a charm. We tried. Okay. So, hands up in the air. But freeze freeze okay let's just stop because it's not gonna work out you know if you want to work it out that's another video i can talk to y'all about how to make your relationship work okay i'm not the best i am a doctor but you know i think i give good advice don't you think so i think my girlfriends think i give good advice i think so anyways okay okay the key to getting over a breakup is to take time for yourself talk to a girlfriend have a glass of wine don't have too much okay go out get some air look at the scenery do something different with your hair okay stop having sex with each other Cause it's just not gonna work sex always feels good but what about your feelings do anybody ever talk about that anymore hmm. so the moral of the story is do what's best for you know what you want in your next relationship because you're not gonna settle who wants to settle no one so, and if he don't like the way you switch up your hair, then maybe the next person will. Like, I was like 16, 17 years old, my first boyfriend. 
probably shouldn't have said that. But I was younger. <laughs> I was younger. And we went out. And I, when I say I went to nice, fancy restaurants. And I'm just like, oh, I'm young. This is what I always wanted to do. Like, guys don't do that no more. Guys will take you to damn Mushalu. I was 17, 18 going to the Mushalu. Was I? I think so. You know, so when now I'm dating, I am have a higher standard level. I'm going to take it down a few notches, but I still have standards. You all want to have standards. If you're the type of woman that want a guy who make more money than you, go find that guy because there is people out there. But you got to focus on you first. You can't just be like, oh, I don't have nothing or I'm not doing anything and expect the guy to do more. This is a whole nother video. Anyway, in order to get over your previous relationship, you shouldn't follow them on social media. You should not have their number unless you guys have a kid together. Um, if you guys have a relationship, good, great. Let's be co-parents, you know. Focus on that. Um, if you don't get along, try to figure out what can get you guys together because you guys now have a kid together. Like, even though y'all not together, y'all had something because now you made something and now something is living and breathing and you want to make sure your child is good and you want to be like, oh, he's going to be good with me. Or, oh, you guys have to have some type of relationship when you guys are no longer together when it's a kid is involved. Y'all have to have some type of communication. Not saying you have to be best of buds. But you have to have some type of rapport with each other. Something has to be said or done. And things have to be copacetic. Okay. Copacetic. That's it. That once you break up with someone, it's time to get in a relationship with yourself um, and find yourself all of the things you did in a relationship um, normally they say oh you're selfish you're selfish on the reason why you guys probably broke up but in hindsight you probably wasn't working on yourself in order to get over the breakup you have to date yourself find your inner peace yeah I did things like go out to get over the breakup um, hang with my girlfriends, go out to eat, you know, simple things. But I must say, now it's time to be selfish. When you're single, um, if you was in a relationship and they said you was selfish, now it's time to really be selfish once you become single. You have to find what works for you. If you want to start making a YouTube channel, make a YouTube channel. Find what makes you happy, okay? Happy. And another thing, a glass of wine, chill in the house, have girl time, and even go for dinner. And hopefully they pay because you're the single one. You just, you just got dumped. <laughs> or you did dumping. But the moral of the story is, if that's your way of getting over a breakup, then do it. Find who you are. Find all the things you did not like in that relationship so you will not bring it into the next relationship. So... My goal is to tell you guys, in order to get over a breakup, focus on you. I'm sure you knew that, but hearing it out loud is like, oh my god, I can't believe I didn't think of that. Well, that's why I'm here for you guys. So, tune in for the next video, and maybe you can do other things on how to get over a breakup. Like me, for example. I like to switch up my hair. If you're a person who likes to switch up the hair, switch up your hair. If you are like a person who likes to shop, like when I'm upset, I literally shop. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but make sure you have a good budget for it and shop. Definitely do what makes you happy. Definitely. I believe that it's someone out there for everyone. And if you feel that way, then listen to this video. And just continue to do what I'm doing. 2018 has been a rough year for me. I have to find myself in order to really fully 
get over the breakup. Even if you have to sit down with that person. Uh, if you're capable of doing that, then by all means, sit down with that person. Get some closure. Other than that, these are the ways of getting over the breakup. Ways. In order to get over a breakup, I lost my flower. I'm sad. Where'd the flower go? See how I'm just, you just gotta let it out. I'm sad. Anyways, if he don't like the way you switch up your hair, then maybe the next person will. I know I'm gonna make myself happy. Even if I do change my hair every week. And if he don't like it, someone better. Focus on you and get your mind together. Because there's people out here that really wants to find love. And maybe you could be it. But you're stuck on stupid dealing with the guy over there. Why are we doing this? Let's move on. And maybe you might find the one. You never know. So, I hope this video was informative. Because a couple of my videos got deleted. And I've been saying this over and over and over again. So, and if you didn't get the picture by now, then I don't know what picture are you looking for. Because... As you can see, it's just all by experience. And if, you know, I have to take my advice. But I'm glad you clicked the video. <laughs> you know, because it's just something that I just wanted to share with you guys. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And I just want to get a little bit more personable. Period. I'm glad you guys clicked the link. I'm glad you guys subscribed to my channel. And I'll be back with more videos. And it's late and I'm going to sleep, guys. And thank you, guys.